Okay, this week we're going to have a look at the relative motion of the hip joint. We're just going to basically address one movement plane primarily, the sagittal plane, but we might have a little look at the transverse plane as well. So, we often talk about the working connective tissues, the muscles, the sliding surfaces with that, working that motor control part. This, what we're going to do now is kind of combination of the motor control and that joint accessory motions. And what you need is a band that's set up about your knee height or slightly higher. You're going to step in, and instead of bringing the band to the hips, you're just going to bring it at the bottom of your thigh, at the bottom of the femur, my kneecap would be just at that height. I'm going to take a step back, build some tension on the band. I want to start by fully extending my hips, and I'm going to push my hips back, kind of like I would in a deadlift, and I'm going to bring my hands to my hips to really make my hips tilt forward. So I'm here, full extension, go forward, push my hips forward, at the same time really kind of anteriorly forward tilt, my hips. Just do about five reps. You could do more, but you probably want to start pretty easy. Good. If I step out, I'm going to feel a little bit funny at this point. If I just go, and, okay, I'm going to reach down to the ground. You can see it's a little bit easier. If I go with my deadlift setup, just feels like this side has much more space in there now. Now, after you do this, you might want to do some strengthening exercises, like just a couple maybe reaching in different directions. Make sure that your hamstrings get firing up again. Now, if you want to go after the transverse plane, the rotational movements, a little trick here set up. I'm going to set the band about mid-thigh. I'm going to want to set the band so that there's actually a little bit of force pulling my thigh into this external rotation. I'm going to get my hands about shoulder height or wherever you feel comfortable. I'm going to reach as far one side as I can and then reach as far to the opposite side. If you want, you can have the opposite side leg slightly more forward. And just go ahead and do about five reps. Remember to go all the way in both directions. Good. If I jump out, again, it's going to feel a little bit funky. So if I feel a little weak in there, so maybe some lunges, just maybe a reach on that direction to get the muscles firing again. If I go down and go, okay, how does my squat look like? Get pretty big difference really, really fast just by re-establishing the joint motion relative in that joint, the passive accessory motion, just the normal physiological range of that joint. So give that a go, see how it works.